Hello and welcome. This is Wessex Blade's review of a Vanquish Isopod medium pouch in direct comparison with a Maxpedition Roly Poly. Uh, as the medium was exactly the same size as the Roly Poly, I thought it was a more fair uh, review. Um, and the other thing is that I don't owe either manufacturer any more allegiance. You see, this one I ended up with because of the low cost. For postage and this one was a gift from a friend in Ireland so none of them cost me any more or less than the other one I don't owe any of them anything um, from opening the Vanquest compared to my expedition my initial um, I wouldn't say worry but it was just an observation when you open up the Maxpedition and you roll it out you are actually able, if you fancy, to put the Velcro to the front pouch, front Velcro section, and you can sort of hold it all together. And the two retention straps are on the back. Um, but from in use, what I'm finding is, is that is awkward to use because you really got to twist yourself round wherever you are and use two retention straps as opposed to only one on the Vanquest. Uh, what I'll do this sort of desktop at the moment is just to show the features and I'll actually do a review outside in a minute showing how these things work better or not. The Vanquest, you open it up and as you can see the retention strap is front and centre. Like that. Just the one. There are two retention straps on the sprung clip. On one side and one the other. So when you pull it's it's basically one operation in order to cleat the whole thing in at the top. The other thing I did notice was this. When you have the two bags open with the max position you can either close it at the top or get rid of the flap by velcroing it and making it more static by putting it underneath and then you cinch the top in. I'm finding a bit more thought was going to do this. If you wanted you could fold that down and you can put that up there like that. Now it allows you to see the brand name but also you might not want that in there. You may be quite happy to put that up there and then cinch the top in okay so it's just a little bit of thought has gone into doing that and allows you another choice another option so let's wind that out like that the furniture as I would call it are all these little bits on the side max edition in black with the little Z clip the sprung shock core retention clips and the grommet are in black. Now whilst it looks trick, it looks tactical, what you'll find is the parts that they get, they could have black throughout the range, which is nice if you want to keep the cost down. Vanquest haven't gone for this. They've got this colour and they've got the same colour, it's colour matched. When you get cars and you have black bumpers for eight, it is generally speaking or a lower model in the range. When you have colour match bumpers there's a lot more attention to detail because they've actually got to get the right colour of the bumpers etc. So they can't use these parts other than on this colour bag. So it's more expensive for them to do it but I like the look of it it's just personal I prefer the way that that is because it's it's color matched the whole thing looks the same color nothing stands out it all just blends in on closer looking this strap here is longer on the Vanquest look how short that is on the Max now if you want to hang this up somewhere, like you're trying to attach it to a piece of gear, like a molly strap or something, you're trying to, trying to hang it on something, that little strap 
doesn't allow it to move as easily as if it's just that little bit longer and actually to operate it I've got more room to put my hand there in order to disengage this top part so that is a lot easier to use from holding this over and over and over again I suddenly realized something else that strap is like another width of weave wider than that strap if you put them up against each other you should just about be able to make this out the Maxpedition is narrower than the Vanquest once again it seems to be slightly rated now when I opened it up I had the impression that this was flimsier and I had the impression that the Max was stiffer but is that necessarily a good thing what is this damn thing supposed to do it's supposed to fold up that's that's its task that's what it's supposed to do so the fact that this is flimsier or more supple and I began to think well actually it seems to come across as a more suitable feel that folds up so much easier than the Max it's just more flexible in the Vanquist another thing I noticed was this when you actually come to put it on a belt I have a, a small Maxpedition pouch and I'll show you outside in a minute to put this thing on your belt when it's rolled up there's a lot of tension around the back of there so to slip your belt in if you're too lazy to undo it okay slip your belt in there isn't the easiest thing in the world but the tunnel loop on the Vanquest okay the tunnel loop on the Max see my fingers trucking up there is more room on the Vanquest those fingers are not able to go like this any way to get in the belt to go in is easier when you consider that it's going to be cinched up and tensioned right way up so a bigger belt loop I wouldn't see as a disadvantage I say oh it's slowed on your belt you slow it about because it's too big no I, I think getting a belt in and out would be the uh, the choice there rather than the fact that it's too big in your slip because the, when it's rolled up I don't honestly think it's going to go anywhere I've never been conscious of a roly-poly page sliding about because it's under tension but it's just easier to get in and out when you decide oh, I won't take that today I won't bother you just poke it in there there's your belt through but when it's on the Vanquest which again it's more flexible that pokes through there a little bit easier because he's got a bigger tunnel loop so so far I am gravitating towards the Vanquest compared with my limited albeit limited yeah I admit to it I use this occasionally okay I'm much preferring the Vanquest up against the Maxpedition um, I've got to go outside now and put it through a few little tests see you on the next bit so now I'm outside and what I'll do is just compare how easy it is to put these things on a belt when you decide to go with it on that day rather than it's on your belt all the time because you could decide not to take it so here's my usual max side thing there you 
comes off. Here's the match position. And he's on. Okay. And he's in. Does it slide about much? Nope, he's on there, and that's it. So, let's take that off. And use your lazy. Poke it through. And it's on. Does it slide the bait? slide but was it ridiculously slidey compared with the fact it's got a bigger belt loop no it's fine so let's see what this the two bags can cope with in terms of weight so our next one with the max against the vanquist okay it's not the back so I've got max to the left Ankles to my right. So if I open it up and just see you know what happens when I start loading it up. Half, 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 half is five. There's a one. That's like three and a half kilos. Four and a half kilos. Six kilograms. Seven, eight. Let's get the velcro on, let's make it tidy. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and it came out. So now I'll tell you what, I'll transfer them each across to the other side. So I haven't switched any different weights. There's one, two, three, four, two and a half, one, three and a half, four and a half. Five. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. Do a different suspension, or is it that bigger tunnel loop has allowed it to have different stresses? So that didn't come out. It's for a shock cord. How easy is it to do? So there's a shock cord up only on the spring, it begins to come undone. The other side, and they're all going straight back on the other side. So, no strap, as in the top, just these things. And it starts to give up pretty much the same. So let's just go with three kilos. So just under half of what that initial load was. One, two, three kilogram weights.
and that's it. That's holding that quite happily, three kilos. Panquist. So to try and not use that, only on the strap. No problem at all. So three. holding a little bit of a let go four still holding I could do this forever but the actual straps Seem to be quite good. What I've noticed from this being at the front, this allows a one handed or at least a far easier release, a two handed closure. When it comes down to this side, rather than the cords being there, they're here. When you've got it half open, these loose ends they piss you off. Constantly flapping about your guts. I'd say on the average sort of build, average sort of height. I don't want that there. If it's out there, that's out of the way. Well, it's not going to get snagged because we've got to do is poke it in out of the way like that and then lean to you so my initial query about the front front ended strap seemed to be alleviated because it's that irritates hmm looks like again slight victory to the van quest find that figure out another test See you in a minute. Okay, back inside. Now this is to test abrasion resistance. And you know, I could walk for miles. I could walk for miles and miles and test its abrasion resistance. Um, I could put it in a load of rocks in a thing and shake it up, but is it gonna do anything as fast as rubbing up against something that's not very nice to rub up against? Here we have the Maxpedition. Okay, there's its front fold over flap. What shows the most, I suppose, wear and tear is the thing that's over the top. Its actual name there. So, Maxpedition, have some of this. This is a brass wire brush. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, if you can make that out, Maxi isn't there no more. 20 rubs of a wire brush, which I basically would assume that would be walking through thorns. Vanquist, tough built gear. There it is before. The admission that it's assembled in the Philippines. Okay, so the Cadora is made in the USA apparently. Assembled in the Philippines. Let's take it off a macro on the manual. 20 light drags from my left to my right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It was just beginning to let go at 22. The name still stands. So, that's just the label, which isn't the thousand denier um, material to do with the bag. If you can't keep your name on a product, it's pointless having the product. 30 strokes of a wire brush, 20 strokes with a wire brush. I'm not going to ruin my bag, but that was just a an indicative test of how proud are you to put your name on something. Let's have the label tough. You can still make out that says Vanquest, and it had half as much again as the Maxpedition. So, clear winner, I would say, the Vanquest over the Maxpedition. Definitely. Reasons? Bigger tunnel loop, easier to get in. Another option for the fold over flap. Single point at the front made it a lot easier. Color matched fittings on the side there. It's more flexible, it's a dump pouch. That rolls up. The whole point of it is to roll up. That Velcro is brutal. So there it is, folded up. Here's a Max. It's stiffer. It does fold up, but it's a little bit more of a fight. This folds up more flexible. Oh yeah, man, that is. That just goes to so much easier. Yes, the Maxpedition has been around a long time. And when you've been around a while, I wouldn't say there's a tendency to sit on your laurels, but you haven't had someone come up. You haven't had a contender. Uh, 511 have been around a while, but they seem to be doing slightly different things. Vanquest, to me, looks like they are actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Maxpedition. Maxpedition needs to sit up and take notice. The specs that the Vanquist have given me on the Cadora points to the fact that the actual Cadora in a Max is 30% cheaper than it is for them to make their own here. So it would seem that the materials are slightly better. There is more stitching on the Vanquist. There seems to be more too the Vanquest. So if my position don't take up notice, sit up and notice what's going on, this is what's gonna happen. Your name's gonna disappear. And this name's gonna stay visible. It's got from Wessex Blades with the Vanquest against Maxpedition, Roly Poly, and Isopod Medium. Clear winner. The one that the name stayed on. All the best. Let's go for Wessex Blades.